Welcome back to American Latino TV. Now, if the earlier segment wasn't funny enough for you, don't fret because this next story features people who actually pay their bills by making people laugh. So we sent our own Alexis de la Rocha out to a comedy club in Hollywood to do some recon at the phenomenon that is Latino Comedy Night, a staple of comedy clubs in New York City and Los Angeles. Take a look. Crossroads is presented to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Friday's the Latino Comedy Night at the World Famous Improv. You know what? This place is selling out. Just check out this whole crowd. For comedy clubs that have managed to keep their venues crowded for the past 30 years, Latino Comedy Night served as a select venue for Latino comics looking to catch their big break. These days, Latino Comedy Night is more than just a club novelty, it's a comedy staple. The doors were not opening up for us. <laughs> They would look at us and they would label us and go, oh, we don't need another Latino comic. And we go, no, I'm just a comedian. No, you're a Latino comic. Now, that stage is there and it's set up for us. It's true, I can go to any Latino comedy show and go, is your name Maria? How do you know? <laughs> Are you pregnant? Who told you? <laughs> is the baby daddy in jail? Oh my God, you're good, you're good. <laughs> What once was an evening where non-Latinos might have felt excluded from the inside jokes has now evolved into a night where a much broader audience looking for some laughs is in on the joke. So, James, why did you come out here tonight? Oh, well, one, one, we both love comedy. You can't get enough of it. We're from San Diego, so we came up here actually just for the comedy. If it's really funny comedy, it's just going to be comedy. It doesn't, you don't care about your race or whatever. I just happen to be a comedian who is Latino, but my comedy is not just for Latinos, it's for everybody. While the audiences have brought in, the fans of Latino Comedy Nights continue to attract A-list comedians looking to test their acts before performing their latest material for the rest of the world. I love stand-up. I love that I get to write my own stuff, perform it. Like, if you are in my life, you will probably be in my act in some way, shape, or form. So every night before we would go out, we would change our voicemail greeting to be something really clever and cute. Yeah, what's up, what's up? You know, you gotta hold up, go ahead and drop that message or drop that line, and whenever I still get back to you. Dave Chappelle came in the room, did an hour and a half. I went on after him, did just fine. It's not a Latino crowd, it's just people. I don't, I don't make my act just for Latinos. I make my act for human beings, period. Well, my dog's a hero. My house was on fire, and he came to save me. I'm like, you stupid lady, he was saving himself. I don't think the uh, American market has realized there is a generation that is in limbo, that is now finding its voice in places like this. When they walk in here and they're not being judged because their Spanish is not perfect and they're not being judged because their English is not perfect, here they're just being accepted. Whether you watch them in order to tap into the voice of this generation of Latinos in America, or if you only do it for a good laugh, Latino Comedy Nights are proud, loud, and here to stay. The only way we're gonna make a difference is if we keep coming out and we keep selling this place out and we keep letting the industry know, hey, Latino Night is hot. We'll be partying up tonight, see you there. If not, be square. All right then, we're out. Late goes, peace, outie, gone. <laughs> up next, meet a pro surfer who's no joke. And later, I'm a 